Welcome to Little Mountain on Grandpa's Farm. Grandma gave me a call recently saying my grandpa passed away two weeks ago. We had to come back to Little Mountain here to help out on my grandpa's farm. Now he left us with $5,000. Now he left us with a bunch of different equipment that he couldn't sell off yet because he didn't, he didn't make it in time to sell off anything. Now his plan was to give up on the farm, but since he is sadly gone now, we're going to be taking over this farm and taking over uh, what is left. Now we have two different fields here. We have this field and then we have this big field here already grown with grass as the last thing he done so we're gonna go ahead and make it happen on grandpa's farm well welcome back to a brand new videos boys and girls we are currently posted up in little mountain i'm pretty sure it's iowa i cannot remember i am so sorry if this truck is extremely loud we came back to little mountain iowa with only five thousand dollars left in the bank that my grandma gra grandpa left my grandma and my grandma gave me the five thousand dollars to go ahead and get started on the farm i have no clue what is left on the farm after he passed away very unfortunate i really wish he was still here with us but we're gonna go ahead and try to make this farm and profitable as best as we can here i only have one thing that i took from home with me which is my garden tractor or my subcompact tractor we're almost at the farm and i'll catch you guys over there in a minute and we'll take a look around at the property and see what is left and hopefully we can get started with something today all right and it looks like we're back home on the farm here so i'm just gonna go ahead and park somewhere probably over here at best man the neighbors around here are gonna hate me it's a good thing we're in the country oh real quick i'm gonna show you guys what i mean why we're glad to be in the country with a truck like this this is what I mean. This truck is extremely loud. It is, the cats are deleted and it's got a cherry bomb on it. And this thing is wickedly loud. This is the last truck I had the last time I was actually in Little Mountain. So I'm just going to shut that off. Right off the bat, I see Grandpa kept my Alice Chalmers tractor and a uh, cultivator. It looks like he actually done a lot of work on it too. I miss this tractor. This is one of my favorite tractors. It's my first tractor that Grandpa ever bought me. 87 is Chalmers. It looks like he still has his rig here as a cattle cartel rig. I know it's very funny, but this thing, this thing's nice, dude. He had this thing for a while too. Like he did a lot of work to it. I'm actually very shocked he still has it truck uh looks like he's still got the green grain trailer he has his old suburban still looks like that hasn't been ran in a couple years still has his first international when he started this farm up i didn't take a look inside oh, wait a minute oh, this is new he has a model a on here still has his old ford tractor 9600 ford tractor that was always a good tractor to us too just kind of curious to see what he left up in here oh my well, that's brand new and that combine's new this isn't this is old well, we can use this actually probably later on in the day to go ahead and mow the fields and then we got this the, these two are literally brand new so he, these are not that old i gotta talk to grandma on that one and then we have a 7720 titan too john deere and the uh corn header there yeah let's go ahead and go down here and see what's in here now it's been a couple years since i actually been on this farm i actually moved to a different state and started up my own little farm but i had to give that up and come back here so i sold that farm off to somebody else it has a 863 high flow uh, bobcat corpse on it and then he still has this too 4020 diesel 148 grapple bucket and everything man all the memories are starting to come back being on this farm looks like he hasn't oh, he's been real sick so it's very hard for him to even do anything he got rid of all the uh cattle here which that's gonna be easy that'll be easy to get either way i'm gonna go ahead and talk to grandma and see what else is uh around here all right as i was uh talking to grandma and a couple tears and crying later told me to go in this garage because there's a very special present that grandma or grandpa finished rebuilding for me so Let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, this is what he left me. This is what he'd been talking over the phone about. He was rebuilding for me. Open this door here. Oh, dude. Grandma also gave me the keys for it. So I guess we'll go ahead and uh, fire her right up. Oh, yeah. This thing sounds so good. But yeah, this is what Grandpa finished rebuilding for me. Looks, dude, this truck is clean. Sierra class. Oh, dude, this is one of my favorite trucks. And you got the snow plow on it, too. So we can also, if I wanted to, we could snow plow with this truck, which I'm probably not going to. But I'm going to leave that sit there. We have a bunch of work to get done around the farm here. I got two fields to mow, which I'm probably only going to get the one today. And then we have to order some cattle. So I figure out what we're going to do, I'll be back with you guys. All right, well, I got the new hauling sitting here warming up. I'm going to go ahead and make a phone call to the animal dealer 
and try to get some cattle for us so hopefully we can get that done by the end of the today it's already 10 13 in the morning i'm gonna go ahead and make the phone call to the animal dealer got the animals all ordered up they'll be here later on in the evening so i'm gonna go ahead or we're gonna i'm gonna go ahead and start mowing the field at least one of them because it's it's gonna probably take a little bit so i think what we're gonna do is go ahead and hit some headlands first go ahead and do that oh yeah this mower runs like brand new still man i always had stories about the city line and the crazy nights figure i should probably give it a try Baby, check it out. All right, well, I got the whole headland done, and I got a couple passes done as well. I already took care of the animal dealer. He already stopped here and dropped off the animals for us. It is now going on 3.40 p.m., which is completely fine. I already knew we wasn't going to have enough time to get the other field done. like that we got the whole field mode now i gotta go ahead and find a baler and we can go ahead and get the bell in here so we'll go ahead and park this here and try to find a beller probably just use the old alice and chalmers all so here's our cattle it only costs us 2500 dollars for uh baby cattle i know they don't look like babies but of course farm simple logic anyways it only costs us 2500 for for baby cattle we got 10 of them so see if there's a baler around here somewhere i'm pretty sure grandpa had one i'm not yep. okay there it is i'll quickly go ahead and go ahead and get this backed up i'll do a little bit of maintenance on this should be good to go All right, well, I'm about halfway through the field here of bailing, and then pretty soon I can come in here and pick up all these bales. Downside is I don't have a flat deck trailer. I mean, I do, but it's a tilt bed, and I don't know if it'd really work out the greatest. If I put a ton of bales on there, it is probably gonna break the axles. I'll come up with an idea, probably lease a trailer if I can find one on the marketplace. Maybe not, see what goes on, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up, and then I'll be back with you guys shortly. I already got all the bailing done here, so we have a lot of bells to pick up. What I might do is just sell all these bells. We're really hurting for money, and I did uh, call the dealership. I called the dealership because I looked online on their website. They have a DJ Gooseneck trailer for $2,000, so I think that's what we're going to be doing. It is a used, used trailer, so that's probably our best bet to go get is the uh, PJ Gooseneck. We're going to go to the dealership, look at that, and then come back, and then we can go ahead and pick up all them bales. I'm going to be taking a square body over there because... My truck doesn't have a gooseneck. And then I'll catch you guys once we get over to the dealership. Alrighty, just got to the dealership. It's not that far of a drive. So I'm guessing that's the trailer. Yeah, this is the trailer. Definitely the trailer. Let's go ahead and make the purchase. And then we can go ahead and get up out of here. Alright, we're definitely hurting for some money now. That was $2,000. Probably well spent. So, well, it's going to be well spent. So, yep. Alright, just made it back over to farm. Now it's time to load up some bales. Alrighty, well, that's two bales loaded up. Now, since this trailer is not wide enough, I have to do it like this. So, 
I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the rest of the bales and I'll be back with you guys. All right, well, she's definitely loaded down. These bales are not light, as you guys can tell. She is squatting a little bit. Sorry to have a little bit of squat here and there. I'm gonna go ahead and take these to the elevator. We gotta come back, probably put those in storage for the cattle. I tell you right now, at least the elevator ain't that far from the farm. Well, they gave us $6,500 for all them bales, which isn't pretty bad. We're now up to $8,898, which is really good. I'm just gonna go ahead and save the rest of the bales that we got for our uh, cows. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this stuff in the storage here. Just gonna keep the trailer over here where the hay bales go. It just makes more sense, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and put my uh, tractor away now. Probably just probably just call it quits for today. Go ahead and go get some dinner for me and grandma because I am starving. I still gotta clean up off, off equipment and put that all the way, which should only take about like a half an hour or two hours. I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here and go get dinner for me and grandma. <laughs> God, this truck is so loud. If you guys enjoyed today's video, let me know down in the comment section below. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio.